Do you want to unlock your iPhone 4S or your iPhone 4 easily? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that right now using the SAM jailbreak package. You can see I'm running iOS 5.0.1 on my iPhone 4S right here. And of course, this is an iPhone 4S for those of you who are doubting it is, believe me. All right, and let's just invoke Siri just to show you guys here. You can see Siri there in the settings, but there we go. Okay, so this is an iPhone 4S. What I'm going to do is open up Cydia. You will need a jailbroken iPhone 4S, and I'm going to add a package. This is where you can download the SAM jailbreak package that is necessary in order to do this. So what you want to do is type in repo. Dot, and then you just want to type the following in here. B-I-N-G-N-E-R.com. And of course, you can find that on iDownload blog or in the description of the video. Go ahead and add the package. You'll see something that looks like this. It'll reload the data, and then it'll throw you out back to the Cydia screen here in just a second. So return to Cydia. And once you're back, you want to open up the Bingner source. So just go ahead and tap on that source there. And then you should see Sam. I'm going to go ahead and open up Sam. The subscriber artificial module activates any iPhone. So just go ahead and install that package there, and that'll take a few seconds. And we're just going to go ahead and just skip back to our home screen. Once it's installed, it should look like this. You should see the Sam Prefs icon on your home screen. So just keep that in mind. Now I'm going to make a phone call here just to show you that I am running right now on AT&T. So turn the speaker on. Okay. All right. So we're running AT&T. Now let's unlock this thing and get it running on T-Mobile. How about that? So... Just bear with me for a second. Let's open up Sam Prefs. And then once you have that open, go to more information. You should see activation state. It'll be either activated or unactivated. It doesn't matter. What you want to do, though, is go into utilities, and then you want to deactivate the iPhone like that. So once you deactivate, you want to go back into more information and just make sure that the deactivate or the unactivate status is set for activation state. So you can see it's unactivated, and that is a good thing. And then take note of this IMSI number. Actually, just go ahead and tap on that, select all, and copy that. You're gonna need that. So select the IMSI number. Once you have that copy, go ahead and pop out your AT&T SIM card or whatever SIM card you're using. I'm presuming it will be AT&T unless you're overseas. And then grab your T-Mobile SIM card or whatever other SIM card you wanna use with this. And if I can get that together here, I'm trying to, I actually had to cut the SIM card to fit it in here. So just bear with me a little bit. So there's the T-Mobile SIM. Go ahead and slide that in the iPhone like that. Okay. And just hit okay there. Now, once you have the SIM card in there, you should see searching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No big deal, right? Okay. So what we want to do now is we want to go back and then you want to go where it says method. You should see method below enabled. Go ahead and select method there, and then select by country and carrier. Once you select country and carrier, go back out and then select your country here. So I'm going to select United States, then go back, and now select your carrier. Okay, I'm going to select T-Mobile since that's what I want to use. There it is, T-Mobile USA. Go back out. Now what you want to do is go back to your more information tab, just like that. And then you want to just go ahead and tap on spoof real SIM to SAM. And once you do that, like that, you'll see it says spoofed under SAM details. Select the IMSI number, select all, and then paste over what was in there. You copied something in your clipboard earlier, paste over that, just like that. And then go back to the main screen, and now we want to go back to utilities, and now attempt activation. Now, if this was successful, you should see a black screen like this. It looks like it's respringing your device. That is exactly what you want. Now, once you come back up here, which should be momentarily, go ahead and just unlock your device if you have a passcode lock. Go back into your SAM prefs. Let's slide back over here. I'm just kind of watching the uh, status bar. Nothing's going to happen there, though. Go to SAM prefs, and now where it says enable for subscriber artificial module, turn that off. So just disable that. And now get near your computer so you can hook up to iTunes. And that's all the configuration we need to do with SAM. You don't need to touch anything else in here. Make sure it stays disabled. And then just go ahead and plug in your 30-pin cable there. So I'm just plug it in. And once iTunes actually detects your device, you're going to see a message that says it failed to activate that device like this. That's actually a good thing. That's what you want to see. 
and you may have to unplug and plug in your device two or three times before you get that message or when you get that message for it to actually detect your network and activate your device. Uh, it's just a false alarm. As you see here, there's T-Mobile like that. So don't be alarmed when you get that little error message saying it can't activate your device. As you can see here, I am running on T-Mobile. I did activate successfully, even though my phone is technically locked to AT&T. So I'm going to call T-Mobile. Largest yeah, so network. it works just like that. And the good thing about this is that you can switch back over to AT&T with no problems. You don't have to configure anything in SAM. You don't even have to visit SAM again. All you do is you pop out your SIM card. I'm going to show you right here. And you just do the same exact thing. Pop the SIM card out. Put the AT&T SIM card in. Give it a few seconds. Unplug your 30-pin uh, cable. And then plug it back in maybe a couple of times. It may take three times. But you'll get that little red error message saying it could couldn't activate your device and then eventually you'll see the AT&T logo in your status bar for the carrier and it really is that simple I'm going to show you right now so I'm going to plug it in and more than likely you'll get that little red error message in iTunes something like this no big deal at all all right and then eventually you're going to see it searching in the upper left hand corner you may have to unplug it again and plug it back in but eventually you're going to see the AT&T logo. So just give it some time and continue to unplug it and plug it back in at least two or three times. And I noticed that that generally made it work here. So we'll see if it gives it to me. Nope, not yet. So let's unplug and plug back in and see what we get here. Just give it a few more seconds. There we go. It's that easy. I told you it was easy. That's how you unlock your iPhone 4S, folks. It also works with the iPhone 4. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlock.